Are y'all tuning in? Whenever it comes to the corpse, corporation, the illusion skulls, we all put our energy into these illusion skulls, whether it's your house, court, house, church, um, clubs, you know, the, the list goes on. And whenever it comes to jobs, you know, some of y'all put y'all's energy into it. And to me, jobs, that's nothing but disturbed energies because you're picking up on different individuals, disturbed energy or other things that's latched on to them. You actually got to work with these individuals. And before I really get deep into this, certain individuals, some of y'all look down on others if they work at fast food or sweeping up hair in a barber shop or um, janitor, you know, um, the list goes on. And, you know, y'all putting y'all's energy inside of these buildings, these illusion skulls, like I said. So you know better. You're not printing the money. You're not printing the plastic. You didn't build your house. You didn't build the car. So it's not yours. So, you know, um, you're, you're, you're just basically using different types of unknown energies to get what you need to connect to the material world. Do you feel my signals? So, you know, um, y'all look down on individuals, but now that I got that out the way, whenever it comes to uh, the work environment, the illusion, you could pick up on certain individuals' energy, uh, whether you exchange money. You know, certain money's got certain energy attached to it. Of course, uh, certain groups uh, put certain spells and rituals on that. I mean, look at some of y'all. Y'all destroy each other over a piece of paper or, you know, um, now individuals use credit cards and other things. But anywho... Um, you, you can pick up on that individual's energy. And, um, like, if you work, like, for example, if you work at a hair salon or a barber shop or um, a massage ther uh, therapist, um, you um, can definitely pick up on individuals' energies. And, um, you know, you, you could pick up on the unknown they might have something that's not you know attached to this world and you know make you basically have mood swings and stuff like that and then you know um sometimes you can be all right and certain things you can't shake off because certain things like you know trigger it you know you could be around a certain individual with disturbed energy and both of the disturbed energies going at it with each other you know, so if you hang around an individual that's always negative and complaining and, um, you know, always angry and stuff like that, um, you're you're going to pick up on that energy, especially especially if you work in these illusion skulls, these buildings, you transferring like all different types of emotional, disturbed energy and you can lose yourself. You, you really can lose yourself. So you basically, um, you have to learn how to shift it. And some of y'all take it out on your love partner and you don't even know it. And you you know, that cause, you take it out on uh, your children, just like uh, the illusion uh, school, the school. The children actually, they, they actually pick up on that energy. And whenever they pick up on that energy, you know, they act a certain way. You know, they already got that Wi-Fi and um, that radio frequency um, controlling their uh, frequency modulator. You know, they're, you know, certain children, you know, they act up and get angry and get mad and fight and um, cause confusion. And it doesn't help that they already connected to the black mirrors and the... Um, devices like you know the phones and 
other things and stuff like that. You know, and these individuals know what they're doing to keep individuals in these illusion skulls. There's like illusion portals, you know, like whenever it comes to the illusion skulls, these corpse, these buildings, there's over a thousand generations that that some of y'all can't even see with the physical eye. Y'all can't see. And, you know, you could be taking on many things and that's anywhere you know so it's like you know you gotta you know you, you gotta know how to shift certain things you know um and certain individuals you know pick up on the lust energy they could be on something totally different and you know they could be acting strange and you know if you're on a high frequency you know um whenever it comes to um sex you got to be like connected and on a high frequency, a high frequency and be on something else. You know, I, I'm not, you know, promoting it or anything like that. But if you connected with your love partner, y'all got to be on the same thing. You know, y'all got to be on the same thing or anything that you do. You got to be, you know, on the same thing, you know, and some of these disturbed energies cause confusion with, and you know, with. Some of y'all, your love partners, your children, it causes confusion, you know, because you're picking up on that energy and stuff. You know, if you on, like a, like I said, if you're on a high frequency, you know how to shift certain things and know how to do certain rituals to, you know, remove certain spells, you know, because not all rituals, you know, they're not disturbed. Massage therapists and... um whoever work in a hair salon or, you know, do, do nails um, or cut hair, y'all get it the worst because you're actually touching these individuals and certain individuals could be a different bloodline and you could be picking up on an, another disturbed program and then you, you come back and then if you're around individuals, you know, already got that disturbed energy, you're going to sit and take it out on your love partner and you're going to act different. And, you know, it's like you're up and down, you know, you're up and down and you don't know who you are and um, you get emotional, you know, um, and some, you know, um, some individuals they disconnect from it and I, I look at it this way just because you disconnect from an individual you can still love that individual and you, and you can connect with them in another world and you can fight certain things off you know, and I know about that. I, I fought certain things off a certain certain things that was latched on to certain individuals, you know, that I was connected with and really close to. You know, they didn't know that they was acting a certain way and stuff. And like I said, they was basically up and down. They didn't even know certain things was latched on to them, you know, and I see through individual souls. And, you know, uh, especially if I have that strong connection with them, I could see, actually see through their their um, souls and even see certain things in other realms and dimensions and dream planes, certain things that they're going through, you know, certain things, you know, attacking them and then it plays out on the physical, you know, and it's like whenever you get to certain levels, you can stop certain things in uh, dream planes so it won't play out in the physical. Even if you have a connection with a certain individual, you, you can remove certain things and stuff so it won't. So certain things can't latch on to that individual. It's like you're, you're shifting certain things when you reach certain levels, you know. Um, and it's like... Now I see why some certain individuals act the way they act. You know, at first I'm like, what's wrong with this individual? You know, especially if you, like I said, if you got a connection, whether it's your loved ones 
or your love partner or whoever, you know, if you got a connection, you can see certain things. And, you know, I can see, I can see through a certain individual's soul. I can actually see through certain souls. And, you know, I connect with them on many levels. I connect with a part of them that they didn't even know that they had, like, on another level, you know. And whenever I connect with that, you know, like, I, I connect with them on a, another level, not on a physical. You know, you, you can connect with certain individuals that you, like I said, you got a strong connection with. And you connect with them, and sometimes you can feel... that individual whenever you have that connection you can feel their emotions their thoughts and even even though you disconnected from them and you got love for that individual you can feel certain things and like i said you you can still connect with their soul on another level not on the physical level once you connect it in other worlds you get certain things straightened out with that individual soul you know because they don't know certain things latched on to them then you connect to the physical and you basically can forget the accident the accidents that you've been through with that individual you know certain things and stuff you know you can just overlook certain things because you shifted certain energies off you know you, you just have to overlook the accidents and disturb energy and you know I, I and i feel like if you have that connection or that love for that individual you you'll basically connect with them whether it's on a physical or in another world I know I was all over the place, but I just wanted y'all to feel my signals, let my signals in. Because some of y'all, you're going through it with certain individuals that's connected to these illusions, goals, and some put their job before their loved ones and connect to that disturbed energy. So, you know, if you bring certain disturbed energies from the illusion skulls, your workplace, you're going to, you know, um, go through it with certain individuals. And, you know, don't let that destroy something, especially if you got love for that individual and you got that strong connection. You know, you got to learn how to shift things and you got to grow from that. You know, you got to grow and 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 connect better and communicate better than you know instead of like arguing and you know um going for weeks without talking to an individual or going back and forth and stuff you know um because these individuals put our soul Well, you also, because I'm not connected to this mess, but, you know, um, I know how to shift. I'm here, I'm traveling, you know, I'm visiting, but I know how to shift. I know, I, I, I don't connect with the material things and certain, like, well, all the damn programs. I'm just traveling and, and shifting. But, um, you know, y'all, y'all, um, Y'all allow certain things to destroy you and destroy uh, your loved ones. And, you know, just, you know, that, that these, these, these individuals, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Uh, I got kind of sidetracked. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> and, you know, I, I wasn't going to do this video, you know, just to put that out there. So, you know, I, I just had to get this out, but, um, and it, and it's like what like here it's like uh, probably like three or four o'clock in the a.m. So um, yeah, <laughs> um, 
you know, these individuals, they, you know, put y'all into these buildings or whether it's your house, you know, we're, we're in this illusion house, you know, and like I said, we we're on, we're, we're basically connected to a thousand generations on, on a low vibration. And that's the re that's the reason why the recycling keep going. It's recycling the energy, you know, um, that wheel is just spinning, you know, um, but I, I'm going to spin that, I'm going to spin that bitch off. But <laughs> any, any who, um, <laughs> but um, <clears throat> these individuals know what they're doing. They're just recycling certain energies and setting certain <clears throat> individuals back and causing confusion with, uh, <clears throat> causing confusion with a lot of y'all. Do you feel my signals? So um, I just had to put that out there. You know, um, I know I was, like I said, once again, I'm all over the place, but y'all feel my signals. Y'all get what I'm saying. And like I said, it's like 3 a.m. in the morning or 4. I don't know. It's, uh, I know last time I looked, I think uh, it was like a little after 3 or something. Unlock your souls.